we are going to be learning how to use and customize the taskbar the, ta the taskbar first appears in windows 95 and since then the taskbar has always been in every operating system built by microsoft well in this video we'll be seeing how to use the taskbar how to actually make sure that for example we have the chat apps these chat apps cannot be removed from the taskbar but I'm, I'm going to show you how to actually modify the taskbar by removing this app so for example let's say you want to actually modify how the taskbar look and also how your start menu appears what you need to do is to go to your start menu and then go to settings in settings we have personalization so go to personalization and on in personalization you can see we have the task bar so click on it and from this task bar you can do a lot first of all let's start with this chat you can see i can't remove i can't remove this chat as compared to like the microsoft edge we can i we can, which i can unpin from my task bar so here you can see it is on by default so if i just switch it to off you can see the chat has been turned off and also we also have the task view i can decide to actually remove the task view as well and you can see it has not now been turned off as well we also have the widget, widget there is a widget which is actually displaying you can see that we have the widget giving you more info about news and weather we can decide to actually switch it off as well and now you can see our taskbar is very very clean and mind you we have the taskbar corner overflow if i just click on that here you can see for example we have the windows update startup is, is on so if there's a new update is going to appear here we also have the microsoft teams i can decide to switch it on you can see we have the teams right now on and also the microsoft onedrive i can decide to put it on by default of course i'm not signed in and we have the windows explorer and the windows security notification icon here we go here you can see we have the notification icon and for example we can decide to actually if you are using a touchpad you can we can let us put on the touchpad to switch it on you can see we have the touchpad there also have the virtual touchpad i don't want to use this right now let me just close that we also have the virtual touchpad and also the pen menu but what i want to show you is the following for example you can see i can actually hide the taskbar i can say well i don't use the taskbar often i have a very small screen i just want my taskbar to disappear and you can see my taskbar just disappear but if i press my start menu the taskbar will definitely appear so let me just remove that so now my taskbar is back again and like what i said in my previous video we can actually change the start menu to be at the left hand side so here we go you can see from the taskbar behavior on a taskbar alignment just click left and now we can have that windows 10 filling you can see we have that windows 10 filling but the difference is that the, the apps are actually pinned compared to windows 10 we just have a straight apps and have some other pin programs so this is how you can actually you know play with your windows 11 to actually switch let me switch back into center because right now i've been using windows 11 for so long so i'm actually comfortable for the windows 11 start menu being at the center of my screen so this is how you can actually modify and play with your taskbar so just try and do this on your own and see how it actually feels